there we have a little bit of a clearer view. The launch pad is just beyond that range. Locks load now wrapping up on second stage. Stage two locks load complete. All right, and there's that call out. So at this point in time, Falcon, na Falcon 9 is now fully loaded with 1 million pounds of fuel and liquid oxygen. And there we see more of that venting occurring. Now the booster there on screen is flying for the fifth time today. It previously supported an ROL 87 and 85, Sarah 1 and a Starlink mission. And after liftoff and stage separation, uh, that booster is scheduled to land on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is currently parked uh, is startup. a couple hundred miles off the coast of California. There we just heard the call out Falcon 9 is in startup. Should be getting the final go from launch from, for launch LD from. is go for launch. There it is. So we're now go for all systems. Let's listen in to the final count. T minus 30 seconds. Power and slime tree nominal. Falcon supersonic. And there we just heard Falcon 9 is now traveling faster than the speed of sound. And there we heard that Falcon 9 passed through max Q, which is the period of maximum dynamic pressure that the vehicle will feel during flight. So we're going to throttle those Merlin engines back up in preparation for main engine cutoff. We're about one minute away from main engine cutoff, or MECO, if you're following along with the timeline there at the bottom of your screen. Following Miko, we'll have stage separation and second engine start. And we just heard that MVAC chill has begun. That's when we flow a little bit of the super chilled liquid oxygen into the turbo pump of the second stage engine, the MVAC, in order to prepare the hardware for the full flow of liquid oxygen. About 10 seconds away from main engine cutoff. Miko. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. All right, quick succession there. Next up will be fairing deploy, and there we saw it live. Fairing separation confirmed. 
Separation confirmed, we can now see the Starlink satellites as well as the grid fins on the left-hand side of your screen now being deployed on the first stage. Today we will attempt to recover those fairing halves again to use on a future mission. Beautiful view on the right hand side of your screen as that MVAC nozzle begins to develop a beautiful red orange glow. I love that view of planet Earth in the background. We can see first stage on the left hand side of your screen is still slightly gaining in altitude. It has not yet uh, reached its apogee. The next major event in about uh, less than two minutes will be stage one entry burn. We will ignite three of the Merlin 1D engines at the base of the first stage in order to help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. As I mentioned before, today's mission marks SpaceX's 45th launch, launch this year. Sound like we had a call out that both vehicles are following nominal trajectories, so everything looking good there. Booster you see, well saw, on the left-hand side of your screen, previously supported NROL 87 and 85, Sarah 1, and a Starlink mission, making today its fifth flight. As a reminder, Starlink is a satellite internet constellation designed and manufactured by SpaceX to provide high-speed, low-latency internet to people living in remote and rural locations all around the globe. Service is currently available in 45, 49 markets, markets excuse me, around the world. So we are about 15 seconds away from stage one entry burn. That will be followed by the landing burn of the first stage. Stage one entry burn startup. There on your screen, we can see that entry burn has begun with the first stage on the left-hand side of your screen. Stage one entry burn shut down. All right, and that first of two maneuvers that the first stage is due to complete is now done, and we can see the grid fins actuating uh, to help steer the booster to a precise landing on our drone ship. As the clouds stage one FTS has safe. As the clouds get closer into view, you can get a better sense of just how fast the vehicle is traveling. Based on the telemetry there on screen, we can see that it is coming down to about four thousand kilometers per hour. really demonstrating the ability of the atmosphere to help slow the vehicle down in addition to the uh, re-entry burn. Stage one transonic. All right, we're about 30 seconds away from the first stage landing burn.
right about the same time as we expect to see the first stage land, we should also hear call outs for second engine cutoff as well as hopefully good orbit. Stage two, terminal guidance. Stage one, landing burn. So there we can see the landing burn has begun. Rushing through the clouds, and there's the drone ship. Stage two, FTS has saved. Landing leg deploy. And there you can see on Stage your screen. Landing confirmed. And heard there with the callout, Falcon 9 has successfully landing, marking the 145th landing of an orbital class rocket, our 45th launch of 2022, and our second launch today. Nominal orbit insertion. All right, and there we heard the call out for both second engine cutoff and there just now a uh, good orbital insertion. So now that we know we've reached good orbit, um, we uh, had and also had that successful second engine cutoff. Second stage is now carrying 52 Starlink satellites into low Earth orbit. And with confirmation of first stage landing and successful second engine cutoff, we're going to wrap up today's launch coverage. If you're interested in following along, we have our nets live on YouTube. So uh, be sure to check SpaceX, SpaceX social media for confirmation of Starlink deploy. Thanks for joining us today and be sure to tune in tomorrow as well for our live coverage of Dragon's arrival to the space station for the NASA Crew-5 mission, along with our third and final launch of the week for our customer Intelsat. Until then, have a good night, get some sleep.